I came along to tell you how proud I am of how wonderful you've been to bring such beautiful, peaceful, diverse energy to the heart of the city. And the walls, the windows, the roofs, and the hearts of this citadel, history has been made for a very, very long time. And today, we come to continue that tradition of making history here. But today, unlike any other time in the past 300 years, we are turning history around. The tales are too long to tell. The pain is too long, too hard to express. But we do know that within these walls, human souls were bought and sold for cash. We also know that whole islands, whole continents, had all of their vegetation stripped away. Ecocide was profited from here. And so here we stand, 400 years later, after beginnings of projects that have doomed humanity, to ask that this must stop now. There is a place and a time for pain. There's a place and a time for anger. There's a place and a time for sorrow. But there's also, and we have to make it so, a place and a time for healing. Yes. Yes. And the way we heal is just as important as healing itself. The way we heal ourselves, our neighbors, our friends, our planet, is just as important as healing itself. And that is why you're here. And that is why I am here. I started my career at the back of this building about 25 years ago. And I will not lie to you, many people within these walls were kind to me. I do not hate them. But I also know from my family lineage that for 300 years, many people behind these walls committed unspeakable crimes. And so we walk with that history behind us into a shiny new future that we are here to demand. a world in which ecocide is a crime. Yeah. A world in which human rights are sacrosanct. Yes. Yeah. Having spent my time here, I spent the past five years or so, doing penance. I joined the Green Party. I joined XR. I hung out with people who were supposed to be bad, but actually were good. <laughs> Having spent so much of my time with people who were supposed to be good, to Andrew Bailey. We asked him 
to join us to argue about the provisions of the Paris Agreement. Article 2.1c says, you must align financial flows to your commitments under the Paris Agreement. Black and white. They've agreed to it in no uncertain terms. We are here to hold them to that. Yeah.